see on the roof up there on a very steep uh, angle mount is the evacuated tube solar collector. Um, those are uh, twin wall glass tubes uh, that, that make up uh, the collector. There's a vacuum between the glass walls so they perform really well in cold weather um, uh, because they don't lose ambient heat to the, to the atmosphere. Okay, uh, I wanted to show you um, what the evacuated tubes look like and how they function. These are, um, the, here's one, uh, an array of 10 tubes. The one we saw on the house is 20 tubes. So it's about twice this size. And of course the tubes are running vertically instead of horizontally like these. But this is actually uh, one of the tubes. And as you might notice, um, or, or you might be able to see that there's actually two layers of glass uh, in each one of the evacuated tubes and they're sealed and they ha there's a vacuum space between the two layers of glass and, and the selective coating, the coating that actually absorbs heat is on the inner layer of glass. So what happens is the sun strikes the tube, um, heat is generated on the inside layer which heats up this copper pipe. Um, this copper pipe is hollow. It has a tiny little bit of water in it, about a teaspoon. And the temperatures generated inside this tube um, are very high. They can uh, get as high as 350 to 450 degrees in as little as five minutes of direct sun. And so what happens is that the water, which is captive, uh, it's, it's closed, it's sealed inside this copper tube, turns to steam because they are mounted at an angle like this on the roof, the steam rises up into this little bulb here. This bulb is then uh, inserted in the manifold that's on top of the roof and these are where the water is, um, uh, uh, the glycol, the antifreeze is routed through the manifold and it picks up heat mechanically from the ends of these tubes and that's what heats the loop. So uh, contrary to popular opinion, uh, the evacuated tubes actually do not have any cooling in them. Uh, it's purely a mechanical system to uh, collect radiation, transfer that radiation in the form of heat to this tube which is made of copper and then this copper element basically sticks into a socket which uh, is part of the circulation loop for the for the glycol. So it's a uh, it's a relatively straightforward system. Um, they were developed about 10 years ago, and they work really well, uh, particularly in cold climates.